Mythbusters. Myth number one, all calories are the same. A calorie is a measurement of energy, but not all sources of calories are equal. Different foods digest in different ways and affects your hunger and the hormones that regulate your body weight differently. Protein sources such as meat from animals, fish and legumes boost metabolism and suppresses appetite while fiber-rich foods such as oats, sweet potatoes and avocados lower blood sugar levels and are good for gut health as it reduces constipation and reduces the risk of colon cancer. Myth number two, losing weight is a straightforward process. Your weight will fluctuate based upon the foods you have consumed or because you are retaining more water than usual. Water retention is more pronounced in women as they move through their menstrual cycle. Remember, muscle is denser than fat, so the scales might go up a bit. The key here is to be persistent and consistent. Myth number three, low carb diets are the best way to lose weight. Low carb diets tend to be unsustainable as persons reported irritability and fatigue. The initial weight loss in this diet is generally water weight and non-fat. Low carb diets can aid in weight loss specifically if you are avoiding refined carbs such as pastas and white breads. But whole foods such as vegetables, beans and peas are high in carbs and very healthy. Myth number four, diet sodas help to reduce calorie intake. Diet drinks have been linked to weight gain, fat gain, and metabolic syndrome diseases such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Instead of diet sodas, try drinking plain water instead. Myth number five, you shouldn't snack. There's nothing wrong with snacking, in fact. Snacking prevents you from overeating later. Just make sure you choose healthy snacks, such as fruits and vegetables. They are high in fiber, which keeps you full longer and are low in calories. Myth number six, meal replacement drinks and shakes will cause you to lose weight faster. Whether we consume calories as liquid or solid, it does not matter. However, shakes, smoothies, and meal replacement drinks tend to be high in calories. Overall, liquid is cleared from the stomach faster, and so we may become hungrier quicker and hence eat more. So, as much as is possible, eat at mealtime. Myth number seven, apple cider vinegar will help you to lose weight. A very old and persistent myth, while vinegar has chemicals known as polyphenols, which are antioxidants that reduce cell damage, drinking too much can cause damage to your teeth, throat, and stomach. There's very little evidence that drinking apple cider vinegar helps you to lose weight. Myth number eight, you shouldn't sleep right after consuming a meal. Sleeping itself is not the cause of weight gain. It is total energy consumed versus that which is burned, which causes you to lose weight. Eating right before bed is more likely to cause indigestion. Always go for the light and easily digestible foods before bedtime. Myth number nine, intermittent fasting or skipping meals. Intermittent fasting doesn't guarantee weight loss. You may see results initially, but these types of diets tend to be unsustainable. The best long-term strategy for weight loss is to establish a pattern of intake and lifestyle that you can sustain or maintain. Myth number 10, you should not eat after 6 p.m. It is not when you eat, but rather what you eat. 
If you did not eat all day and had one big meal in the night, it would not affect your weight loss plan. Instead, make sure to maintain a calorie deficit. Myth number 11. Gluten-free foods will help you eat healthier. Gluten-free foods are not healthier than other foods. Gluten helps with the absorption of vitamins, fiber, and minerals. A gluten-free diet is not an effective weight loss strategy. Myth number 12. Dairy products are unhealthy and fattening. Dairy products are an important food group. Proteins from dairy help your body to build muscles and support your organs and provides calcium to strengthen your bones. Most milks and yogurts have added vitamin D, which helps your body to absorb calcium. Be sure to choose the low-fat and fat-free options as they have fewer calories. If you are lactose intolerant or vegan, try fortified plant drinks such as soy, almond, cashew milk, and tofu made with calcium sulfate, canned salmon, or dark leafy vegetables such as kale. Myth number 13. Going vegetarian will help you to lose weight. While eating more natural foods such as fruits and vegetables are linked to lower rates of obesity, lower blood pressure, and reduced risk of heart disease, going vegetarian does not lead to weight loss unless the number of calories consumed is also reduced. If you choose to follow a vegetarian meal plan, make sure to choose foods that will supply your body with enough nutrients. Myth number 14. Working out for longer periods will cause weight loss. Exercise intensity determines the amount of weight you lose. Working out for shorter periods of time at a higher intensity rate is a more effective weight loss strategy than doing an easy workout for long periods. While cardiovascular exercises such as running, walking, swimming, and biking and weight-bearing exercises will jumpstart your weight loss, you also need to track those calories. Don't focus too much on the scale. Instead of checking that scale daily, pay attention to other details such as your energy levels, how you are feeling, and just your overall health. Remember, as you exercise, your muscles grow, and muscles weigh more than fat. So instead of looking at the numbers, look instead at how your clothes fit and your improved self-image.